Okay, so we want to create a look that's fast, easy, five minutes, um, but your focus is going to be your lips. Say your lips are your favorite feature. This is going to be a way to wear a really interesting lip color um, in a way that it doesn't make you look like you belong on a street corner. Um, when doing that, the important thing is, is to focus on one feature, not both. So we're going to do a really simple eye. We're just going to do um, a little bit of shimmer uh, on the eyelid. Um, now I'm going to start with matte first. I'm going to use the flesh tone matte. Um, just like a nice flesh tone matte. Um, because the matte will give me an opaque coverage that I want for the lid. Because we want a really light lid. So I'm going to do an opaque matte first. Then I'm going to do, I'm going to go over that with a little bit of shimmer. But I want the shimmer to be subtle because I don't want you to look at the eyes so much. But adding a bit of shimmer to that lid will give it more shape. Now just taking a little bit of a shimmer and going over that lid. I'm not going to put any of that shimmer on the brow bone. Now you know me, open for me, I always like a little shape to the lid. So I am going to take a tiny bit of mid-tone um, and define the crease. So just a bit of mid-tone, just right inside that crease, not a lot of color. Then taking my number 28 brush, just blending out that mid-tone. creates a little shape to the lid. Now, I am going to do a touch of bronzer because everybody needs bronzer. Small for me. And I'm using it a bit like blush, but you don't want color with your blush. So I went ahead and had her smile so I can make sure I get it on our apples as well. Now this is all about the lip. I pre-moisturize so that moisturizer could really get in her lip, rub together for me, make sure it's nice and moist. Then I'm gonna take and blot off that moisture. Now I want it to have some um, depth to it, but I still want it to be bright. So I'm gonna take a darker lip liner and then fill in with a little bit brighter of a shade. But now when doing a darker lip liner, we don't just do one line around the outside edge like you ate Oreo cookie and forgot to wipe it off. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're going to blend it in towards the center, leaving the center of the lip without color. You're going to start to fill in. I'm going to take my lip pen brush and I'm going to blend out that pencil. Making sure to blend it in.
So you can see now that I've blended the dark and faded it into nothing. The uh, reason for doing this, that gradation of color, is um, I'm gonna use a bright lipstick and I wanna see bright, but I don't want it to be like a neon lip. So I need a darker edge to it. So this is gonna allow me to have a bright color, but have it grounded. And by leaving it naked in the center, you're really gonna see the full brightness of that lip. You can see why I would tell you use a lip brush. <laughs> But you can see how it, you're getting the true color here and it's gradating to darker so you get the brightness but it's grounded. Now I'm going to go over it with a gloss. And you can see how, um, that's one of my signatures too, is how it looks fuller because I left the center lighter. Now I'm going to finish with a coat of mascara. Intense colors because your mouth's not huge, mm -hmm. but that's probably why I like it so much. 